And welcome back. Well, an au pair can be a great alternative to daycare. They're specially screened and trained and help busy families by providing in-home care for kids. Au pairs work up to 46 hours a week and they live with the host families. They're also much more affordable than you might think. That's one of the misconceptions. Yeah, we're going to prove it to you. The Euro Au Pair is the international child care program that places people between the age of 18 and 26 in American homes, and they guarantee a flexible schedule. Philippe Cooper is a host dad. Karen Goodfriend is a host mom. We also have Tracy Adams. She's here as a volunteer community counselor with this group. Hi, everybody. Good Hi, to have you. Yeah, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. So how does this program work? I didn't realize that it was a government sponsored program right um, we work with the Department of Regulations just to make sure that the hours are met that they're not overworked that um, they're fulfilling the you know the agreements with the families making sure that they are paying taxes and they have insurance and they have license to drive and different things like that and then I also go in and do a home visit and a background check is done so it's it's very thorough so everyone knows exactly who is coming into the home and both parties the au pair and the family are safe. Mm -hmm. So just a little more on the au pair why do they become an au pair? They're in school most of the time Most correct? of the time yep most of the time um, they're in school they're usually here to find out our culture um, families usually bring them in because they want to learn a little bit about their culture and then while they're here they're learning English and um, having a chance just to take a study abroad and this is another way that they might do it. Mm -hmm. And they're they're trained, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're there's trained. a fairly rigorous program Correct. once they come to America. Right, so once they come here, they'll go to New York, they'll spend some time through one of our training schools, and prior to that, they have some background in childcare or teaching. Some of them have their degrees or their, you know, everyone's usually some type of certification depending on which country they're in. So, yeah, they're they're pretty much educated and then when they come into New York we make sure that they are aware of any changes like how we do measuring different things like that and there's a long week that they're here and then once they're here for that week then they're dispersed to their American homes. Okay mm -hmm. so both of you have an au pair is that right? Yes. Okay so let's start with you Philippe and talk about who makes up your family and, and who's there with you. So my family that lives with me is my son Matthew, he's 14, and um, my two pets, I have a dog and a cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I have an older daughter who's in college, uh -huh. Colette is in college. And yeah. then you ha do you have an au pair for your 14 year old? Yes, for okay. my 14 year old because of my job, my crazy hours. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And how has it helped you to be able to work but also feel good about the care that you're getting at home? Well, I don't have to stress at work about getting home at a particular time because I know Estelle is there. and caring for Matthew. She picks him up. I don't have to worry about his getting him to his various activities as any mom or dad who knows has a 14 year old. They're busy. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. Busy. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, who makes up your family? Um, myself, my husband, um, my six year old daughter, Carolyn, and then a two and a half year old, Charlie. Okay, so it's busy. I mean, you know, that's a very busy age. How, how have you felt about the au pair program? It's been great. We're actually on our fifth au pair. Right wow. Now. Um, so we've enjoyed it. It's been as Philippe said, it's a, it's a relief. My day sort of starts at the same time, but it never ends at the same time. So I don't have to be worried and stressed out by the end of the day, am I gonna get home? Am I gonna miss Carolyn getting off the bus, picking Charlie up from a daycare situation? So it's really given me the flexibility to be able to focus on my work and know that my kids are you know, being well taken care of. What other childcare options did you consider and how did they sort of so weigh out? So when we first looked at it, we looked at traditional daycare. Um, in my uh, career, I take overnight call. And at the time of we had our, our daughter, uh, my husband was working third shift. So there were nights when nobody was home. Mm -hmm. And so when we looked into daycare situations, there really wasn't an option for that. Yeah. So um, our family had, our, my sister-in-law had recommended it and it's been, it's been a lifesaver. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. A lot of people probably think it's very expensive to have mm -hmm. someone give you child care up to 46 hours a week and to live with the family. But it's actually much more reasonable than people expect, right? Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Especially if you have a family of you know, four or more. Yeah. Um, and also you might want to keep in mind that sometimes, you know, when you go to bed, everyone's fine. You wake up and then you find out that someone is ill. And what's nice is that you won't have to worry about where am I going to, you know, 
take my child if they don't want to, you know, take their children and put them in sick care through some daycare. Right, and or then, if they're too sick, too sick to go to, to school. school mm -hmm. That's right there. If, you know, and au pairs also help with anything regarding the child. So they can help out with laundry. They can help out, like they said, with the car rides. They can help them with their school, you know, their homework. And it's beneficial. So that way it's all still right there and it's cost effective for many people because childcare can be extremely expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you kids all love the au pair that you have with you? Yes, we do. Yeah. yeah. I think it's, <laughs> yeah. It's they become like part of the family probably. Right, absolutely. That's the usually the difference between an au pair and a nanny. They're yep. part of the family. They're brought in as a sibling. I yeah. love that. My cousin uses an au pair and he, he and his wife just say it's the best thing they ever chose to do. Mm. So um, you've got some information how people can contact you, learn more about mm -hmm. it because it can be as inexpensive as, as $350 a week for up to four children. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people when considering those options, it can make a lot of sense. 800-333-3804 or yourauupair.com is the website to learn more. Thanks so much for being here guys. Sharing nice your to story. meet Thank all you of you. Thank you. Thank you.